The lawmakers pass a bill today allowing prosecutors to add anti-Semitism charges to crimes committed against Jewish people or places. The governor says he will sign it. A study by the Anti-Defamation League shows anti-Semitic attacks are increasing. It comes during a tumultuous time in the Middle East, but the Islamic Center in Augusta says that bill should include even more groups. Andre Dickerber is live in the newsroom with more on the war's impact on people here at home. We see it every day, Audrey. With war continuing in the Middle East, people are looking for different avenues to help. But when it comes to passing a state law on anti-Semitism, members of Augusta's Muslim community are torn. Peaceful coexistence, it did happen before for years and years. It can happen again. 44 Georgia senators voted to pass the bill. If you want to go out and say that you hate Israel after this bill is passed, you may absolutely do that. But if you want to commit a crime, you got a problem. But six didn't, and some people here in Augusta agree with that vote. It does not help to alleviate this bad problem of anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism is very bad, heinous activity. And I, or actually all Muslims, are against any anti-Semitic actions or talks and so on. But you cannot only limit this to the uh, Jewish people. If you want to make a law like that, okay, Anti-Muslims uh, anti should be outlawed, anti-Asian should be outlawed, anti-Black should be outlawed. So why there's a distinction here? He says people should be allowed to have their own opinions and thinks this law may infringe on that right to free speech. There's 35,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza at least for now or by now. So it is uh, to limit our criticism of these actions by Israel is definitely not acceptable as far as uh, like anti-Semitism. It is not. We have no problem with the Jews as Jews or individuals, but we have a problem with the actions of the Israel committing these, what we think is uh, uh, crimes against humanity. But at the end of the day, people just want peace. I'd really like, you know, for us to be the one remembered as providing the humanitarian aid, stopped the war, and took the lead, really to bring back the peace to the Middle East. The Islamic Society of Augusta has meetings every few months that are open to the public, where they have discussions about what is happening in the Middle East and its history. You can find out more information about that on our website, wrdw.com. Okay,